Hi everyone, welcome to In His Love. My name is Pedita. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Awesome. Um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support on this channel. I really appreciate everyone. And um, if you're here, you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Just go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, subscribe. Uh, click your uh, notification button when you do. So that way you can get videos whenever I upload. And do well to like the video. If you like the video, like it. Just click the like. All right, so I saw this vid video on online, right, um, about a Nigerian soldier who was dismissed, you know, uh, from his duty um, because he was preaching uh, with his uniform on. So I'm gonna let us. So I'm gonna let us watch the the video where he he was talking, addressing. I don't know if he was addressing the people that were advising him that he shouldn't be preaching, you know while on uniform he was really mad and he was just talking like <laughs> it was so there's a video on that and then there's another video when he after he was dismissed that he did so let's watch both vi both videos and um i'll come back and, and we'll, we'll just talk a little bit you telling me to stop making use of my uniform to preach let me remind you something when i want to join this job there's a column for religion and I put Christianity, is that clear? So I have no limitation. In fact, as a soldier, I'm a preacher, okay? You can't tell me where and how to make use of my uniform, is that clear? Even if you take off the uniform from my body, you can't take out what I'm doing. You can't stop me from preaching, okay? Okay, I preach. When I'm dressing on uniform, I preach. When I'm on civil clothes, I preach, is that clear? Don't limit me, okay? I own the world as you own it. Are you feeling you are powerful or you are greater than me? Do your worst. You can't stop the gospel of the kingdom of God. I'll keep preaching it. Didn't we pray? I enter churches with the uniform. Keep quiet. Uh, by the grace of God, I am dismissed from the Nigerian army today, being the 15th of August, 2023. Uh, <clears throat> I was given three count charges. The first was using the uniform to preach on the social media. The second, knowing fully well that using uniform to preach is an offense, and I went ahead and do it, which is disobedient to particular orders. Then the third, when I was instructed to go and report in Abuja for investigation, I did not go. So these are the three count charges that takes me out of the military. The first video I did, I made a mistake. I call it to be October instead of August. So it's happened today at around one o'clock at Amphibious Training School, Calabar. So I pray for as many of you that have been supportive to me and that have been praying to see that I am set free, that may the Almighty God do the same thing to you, set you free from every bondage and every oppression and frustration you have been frustrated. Okay, we're back. So on the first video, you saw how he was ranting and you know, just talking, all kinds of things. Um, that, you know, when he signed up for his soldier duties, uh, he, he, he checked the part that says he's a Christian, so he has the rights to preach, you know, with his uniform and this and that, that and that. If you don't like it, you need to be quiet. And he was just talking. His mouth was sharpening. His mouth was sounding. <laughs> with his full chest, he was talking, you know. So I'm, I'm thinking that people were advising him, like, you know, bros, you you shouldn't be doing this, no. It's not allowed you know, and everything, you know. And then on the second video, after they had dismissed him, he himself, with his own mouth, is now talking that, you know, he, he gave three reasons why he was discharged from the army. He said, one, that, um, that he was uh, preaching with the uniform. He was preaching with the uniform. Then two, him knowing will, uh, fully well that he's not supposed to do that, and he still went ahead and and you know and he was preaching, uh, knowing that it's an offense according to the army laws, right? That is an offense for him to be preaching with on his uniform, and he went ahead and and did it. Then he said the third one is that he refused to report for investigation when they sent for him. 
when he was called, you know, to investigate his conduct and all of that. He refused, you know, and now he's asking that um, those that are praying for him, you know, that he will be set free. Set free from what? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, he still doesn't get it. Like, what he did was wrong. Yes, it's a good thing that he's preaching the gospel, but he disobeyed authority. And the scripture bluntly tells us that, you know, we should submit to all, all, all authorities. Let's even read that scripture. So that's in Romans 13. Um, it starts from verse 1. And it says, Everyone must submit to governing uh, authorities, for all authorities comes from God. And those in position of authority uh, have been placed by God. Okay, so anyone who rebels against authority is rebelling against what God has instit instituted and they will be punished. The scripture, that scripture. So uh, three, for the authorities do not strike fear in people who do, who are doing right, but those who are doing wrong. Would you like to live without, without fear of the authorities? Then do what is right and they will honor you. Okay? So, you see, it said, you know, if you disobey authority, um, you will be punished. And I like the part where it says um, that those in the position of authority have been placed by God. They have been placed by God. So, he not only disobeyed, uh, is a uh, soldier authority he disobeyed god too but he he doesn't even know that yet like he doesn't understand that and that it's not just this brother that's a lot some of us christians we don't understand the scriptures we think you know i mean we think we can just do anything because you know we are we are uh standing you know we're doing the work of god no you still have to obey authorities if they say don't preach in certain places. Don't don't preach there. There are so many millions of places you can you could preach. You know, he, this guy knew that he's not supposed to use his uniform. He knew. He said it himself, but he still disobeyed. What effrontery? What? I mean, that's not that's not Christ-like. That's not being a Christian. You are you are not he even humble enough to obey. You know. Your, your authority over you, your job. He, all he had to do was put his shirt and trouser in his uh, bag or, you know, take it with him when he goes to work. And immediately he closes from um, his job, find the nearest uh, 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 corner or, or bathroom or store, go in there, change, and do your preaching. It's as simple as that. Nobody will be offended. You know, he, he won't get in any trouble with his job, but no, no, you know, I serve the Lord. And, you know, I'm, I, I, I mean, you saw how his mouth was sharpened in the first video. So my people perish for what? Lack of knowledge, lack of knowledge. We don't understand the scriptures. Sometimes we don't understand it. We just think, you know, you just read and you just run with it. You know, God called you to preach and you just... Let's be calming down. Let's study the scripture. Let's ask for understanding of the scriptures. You know, listen to the spirit of God. The spirit of God speaks to us all the time. Tells us where we are, uh, we are going astray. It always corrects us. So, um, yeah. So now he's saying that those that you know that, that are praying for him, you know that uh, that he will be set free. Set free from what? What do you mean set free? You know, this is something you put upon yourself out of uh, ignorance. It's out of ignorance. It has nothing to do with, you know, I know he, he, some people will say, oh, he's being persecuted because he's preaching the gospel. No, no, no. He bluntly disobeyed the scripture. He, he disobeyed, you know, the authority and according to God himself, 
that's not a good thing to do in the eyes of God even. So, um, what do you think about, about the video? Leave your comments, leave your thoughts, and um, let's just, uh, all I can say from this video is that we should um, try and get understanding. Ask God. The scripture said, let he that lack wisdom ask. Ask of your father in heaven. Let's ask God for wisdom in everything that we do, you know. Obey your authority. Obey you know, your job, of course, you can't even, if you feel like you can't do it, then, then leave the job and, you know, go find something else, you know, but not be there and continue to be stubborn and disobedient. That's not Christ-like. All right, you guys, thank you all for listening. Enjoy the rest of your day and uh, remain in his love and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.